I'm currently on a mission to watch and subsequently discuss every single nominee for the Academy Awards Best Animated Short Film. And 1936 gave us two great films, one Disney and um, one by Paramount. And then we had The Old Mill Pond, which was, it's a harmonising production for MGM. And I've seen a few harmonisings and thought they were pretty good, but The Old Mill Pond is not great. And I can pinpoint the reasons why. It's not just a general feeling. So either the rest of the shorts that year were really dire or this spoke to some people. It didn't speak to me and, you know, that's fine. Um, But I don't think it should have been a nominee. So it was released in the same year in 1936, uh, directed by Hugh Harmon. And basically we're in a pond or by a pond and the fish and the frogs begin to perform music, singing, you know, making instruments. Uh, these are apparently caricatures of individuals such as um, Bill Bojangles Robinson and Louis Armstrong. Um, I didn't pick up on that. Um, I think, I, I mean, some of the people I don't really know much about, I think I could have picked up on a Louis Armstrong caricature, but I certainly didn't. And they begin to play these different songs. And I thought that could have been quite interesting because uh, I love a short with a decent soundtrack. This is part of their um, Happy Harmonies series, which obviously gives us some colourful cartoon animations against the backdrop of some fun music. But this, the music wasn't engaging. I did not like it. Um, I thought the songs or the different rhythms kind of blended in nicely together. That's certainly true, very well edited as a whole. But the actual music... I wasn't toe-tapping, I wasn't swaying, I didn't care, I wasn't interested. The animation quality is fine, but the colours are not captivating. They're all very, I mean, understandably, given the the, the location, they're all very kind of browns and greens and murky colours that are not very pleasing to the eye, they're not very pleasant to look at. So, had the music been amazing, I could have overlooked that. Had the animation been fantastic... Maybe the music wouldn't have been so important, but I just feel like this didn't offer very much. And it's not that, you know, it's, you, people can't even argue that it's the fact that it was the 1930s, of course, things were different. But there are so many amazing shorts from this time and even the decade previously that it's not really an excuse. Thankfully, it isn't the first uh, harmonising film that I've seen, so it hasn't coloured my opinion too much, or at all, really. Um, But had it been the first one, I think I might have been jaded going forward and not expected very much. I completely understand why it didn't win that year. The Country Mouse by Disney was a pretty worthy winner, but um, I think Popeye meets Sinbad from Paramount should have won. Either way, this one, for me, not even a contender.